Good morning everybody and welcome to today's literacy lesson. So we've been working really hard this week all building up to today where we're going to be writing our very own diary entry as the crayon that we have chosen. So obviously we've been looking at the story the day the crayons quit. You should have all chosen your crayon and written about what your crayon's been up to since quitting and now thinking about how your crayon was feeling once before they quit, once they quit, and while your crayon was getting up to all of their fun adventures. And today is time to pull all of this learning together and we're going to write a diary entry as though we are the crayon. So, well, that's what we're gonna be doing, writing a diary entry. So we've already thought about where we have been. So I did showed you this one the other day, looking at my green crayon. I, I thought of all the different green things he could have been up to that he would have enjoyed doing since quitting. And I pulled all of those together. Then yesterday we were look, thinking about how our crayon would be feeling. And we were adding words and more vocabulary and thinking of all of those things. And then today we're going to pull all of that together. So some other things to think of, although we've started planning with our what our crayon's been up to and how they've been feeling. Um, also, you know, some questions. Where have you been? What have you been doing? How do you feel? Do you miss the other crayons and Duncan? What a great question, especially for my green crayon, because he was super fed up because the orange crayon and the yellow crayon kept on arguing. So that's a really good um, thing to think about in the diary, that your crayon could tell their diary, you know, do I miss them, do I not? And why or why not? So giving, in some, giving some reasoning as to why we feel the way we feel. Do we miss Duncan and the crayons? Do we not miss them? And another thing is kind of what happens next. You could at the end of your diary entry say, Oh, okay, diary, I think I'm actually going to get in touch with Duncan and join him again because I do miss being his crayon. Or you might be like, I've loved life since quitting being Duncan's crayon. I'm never going back. I don't want to be a crayon to colour in ever again. I want to keep on going on all these wonderful life adventures. Okay, so there's lots that you can talk about. Just imagine, sit there, close your eyes if you need to, and just imagine I am the crayon. Just think, I am that crayon. What am I going to write in my diary entry? Okay, so this bit I'm going to work with you on. I have built a success criteria for us to look over and follow. So the first thing, include the date and or the time. You can add the time if you want. I'm just going to add the date. Use the words I, my, we and our. That's because we're speaking in first person, which we've spoke about before. It's all happening to me. It's not a story. I'm not saying it's about somebody else. All of this is happening to me. It's my thoughts, my feelings, because I'm pretending that I am that crayon. Write as if I were there. So although we're not the crayons who quit, we need to really, really soak that up and believe that we are and write as though we are. Talk about the events that have happened. That's up to you. You can talk about what life was like as Duncan's crayon, how it's changed since your adventures, what you plan on doing next. Write about the most important dates in order. We've kept it in order when we wrote our feelings yesterday. Describe my feelings. You've already gathered all your words for this. Use time linking words or um, time words at the beginning of your sentence, in the middle. So first, next, secondly, then, after that, all of those lovely words, okay? Because things are happening. So I'm going to show you, let's add a little text box. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but I'm just going to show you how I would start green crayons diary entry. So remember I showed you up here, if you click here, then that's going to help you to type on this side, which is where we want to put the date. So the date's going to be Thursday the 4th of February 2021 then you press your space bar to go back down and then you come back up here and click here and it will take you back to the side so you can write Dear Diary, which is very important. <clears throat> Remember, it all must be in past tense as well. Dear Diary, I have finally quit, ooh, quit, exclamation mark, because I'm saying it with feeling. I have finally quit. So I'm saying it with feeling. I was exhausted and tired and tired 
from being Duncan's crayon. Let's see if I can make this into an expanded noun phrase. So I was exhausted and tired from being Duncan's crayon. What is a adjective that I can add before this noun? From being Duncan's mm, lovely crayon. Because Green Crayon really thinks he was lovely. Or superb. Superb, because green colours so many things. I was exhausted and tired from being Duncan's superb crayon. The yellow and orange crayon drove me crazy. They had sit, not just arguments, so I'll add arguments, but let's add silly arguments to extend that. They had silly arguments all the time about who could be the colour of the bright shining sun add some more description there then what i want to say so after leaving duncan i decided to go on an amazing fantastic and wonderful oh exciting be better exciting adventure see how i've used commas in a list here an exciting adventure to see all things beautiful and green okay when i planned my adventure i felt so oh i felt over the moon that's the word i found on yesterday i felt over the moon First, see how I'm using my time words. First, I went to see the fantastic northern lights because that is what I listed over here when I was listing the things that I could see. Fantastic northern lights. It was the most amazing thing for my precious eyes to see. I felt, because I want to talk about how I was feeling, I felt beyond happy. Next, okay, so time word, I went to the forest. Oh, how can I add that to the ginormous, ooh, ginormous forest to draw some fantastic trees okay so that is just a start you can write much more much less about different things you write it as though you are the crayon in your best way okay um but as you can see i keep going back to read over it to add extra um you know describing words to extend my sentences one thing i haven't really done here which i should do is add a conjunction it was the most amazing thing for my precious eyes to see and I felt beyond happy okay so I need to go back that's my editing remember we're always editing we're always reading what we've written to check it makes sense and to edit it and see if we can make it any better which you can see I'm doing throughout okay so yeah it's your time to get going think about all of the things that you've planned this week and been writing about and now it's time to put it all together in your lovely diary entry so i so look forward to seeing these and good luck i hope you enjoy